Tilapia, I'll join my And Lola. Now, one of our uh, favorite countries to visit when it comes to singing talent is Sweden. And uh, our Swedish fans have recommended another Swedish Idol contestant, this year's Swedish Idol, in full motion at this point. A dude by the name is Casper Commit. Haven't been following this year. Kind of wait till a little bit later in the stages because the early stages of Idol is like hundreds of like auditions. <laughs> it's just too much to follow. Uh, but he's made it on, and because you guys recommended it, in particular since the song "Brother" from Matt Corby sound familiar? Because Chris did the song. That's right, Chris Clifford did this song too. So maybe the Swedes really love this song. Well, it's good so they can hear a different version of it. That's true. It's always an interesting take. It's a very simple song though. It's very, you know, typical Chris kind of stuff, right? Like folksy, country-ish type right. of scenario. So Casper uh, must be that vein of singer here. So mm. let's check it out. Short yes, song. I want to know. Looks Kasper. like there's no uh, judges commentary. It's just the song at this point. I hate what these shows do that now. Like we've just been watching America's Got Talent and for their main channel, they never show judges commentary. So they want you to go it. watch the TV show. And I'm like, nobody watches TV shows anymore. Let's put it online. Let the world appreciate then how are they going to make money? The YouTube way too? Trust me, TV is a dying industry. They need to rethink their business model. That's the only reason why they force people to go watch TV. It's like slow evolution of a company where they make money from the old way of doing stuff. But if they don't adapt quicker, if they don't become a leader in this stuff, guarantee you other competitors will come in and swoop in and eat their lunch. I'll tell you a great example of something like this. Remember AOL? AOL. Oh, you don't know AOL. Uh -uh. <laughs> Maybe before her time. America Online was the number one internet provider in the world back when in the early days of the internet. They had tens of million subscribers paying like 10 bucks and maybe 20 bucks a month just to dial in and use the internet. Mm -hmm. Dominant player. Everyone was like, no one could supplant AOL. Stock price went through the roof. I had a lot of friends who used to work there and they became so rich. Now, you haven't even heard of them. <laughs> like, where are they? Well, the reason why they're pretty much a dead company was because they were keen of what back then was dial-up. You literally had to connect your phone to the internet and it was so slow. So things would just load in at a time. And then other competitors said, you know what? Broadband came along. Broadband is the faster internet. And they said, okay, well, we'll offer the faster one. And not only they offer the faster one, but they offered at a pretty competitive price. Mm. And AOL says, well, we don't want to do that because our fans, our, our users are so content paying for this. Why do anything more? This will never take content. off. They're so slow. You know what? They didn't want to do the upgrade because it's a huge cost. So they were very slow to adapt to the reality that everyone wanted faster internet. And so by the time they offered it, gone. Lunch stolen Too late. from too late. Too late. Too late. I mean, they're really almost like a non-existent player today. It's crazy. Yeah. But that is the way technology works. And right now, watching everything online is how technology is reshaping our lives. And if these shows don't get with the program and give us the show online... You're going to lose it. Someone's going to eat your lunch, like John said. That's right. I'm hungry. That's how hungry I'm that's super right. hungry. I that's how you've been on a diet. You look good, baby. You've lost some weight. It's noticeable now. Oh. oh I, I, we see a lot more comments on, Where? on people online. They're like, oh. oh. <laughs> well, speaking, why don't you go and check my channel, Clueless Lulu, if you want some more of me in hotness. What a plug. <laughs> well, then, how about my plug? Or if you want some cool commentary, go check out John Master Lee because I've been gaining weight. <laughs> All right, let's do this, y'all. Let's do this. And away we go. Whoa! What the hell? Wow, different, huh? Sleep now under my skin. Make sure you try it too. Wow, he's Ooh, very different. His I like take it, on I this. I like it. He's an artiste. Ooh, and his style. Conjure the wind and Call a 
to your brother. He's not only singing, but he's like telling, talking to you. He's emoting. He's calling out your name. That growl, growl, huh? I know. Yeah, he's got real interesting, distinct flavor. Uh -huh. You know, like he he'll breathe within the yeah the song. Wow, the arrangement of this song is insane! Five minutes! This guy is already an artist, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like a real singing artist already. Where have you been? In Sweden, Whoa, apparently. Whoa! That's it! <laughs> Alright, Sweden's Got Talent. I don't know anything about the show, but I can already give you two recommendations. One is, don't let so many people on the competition because there's no time for everybody. I mean, look at your auditions around. It's literally half of the population of Sweden. And the second, <laughs> give each contestant that's worthy more time. It, the song literally is a, like minute, a minute, 40 seconds long. That was really short. I sat through loading screens waiting for a game <laughs> that are longer than that. <laughs> I sat through commercial breaks longer than that. Wait, not fair. Wow. If you don't have a talent, you're not going to get in. That's true. I mean, you literally have a minute 40 to like pr prove <laughs> you got something. Yeah. Yeah. Show your talent but and dude, impress everybody. I don't even recognize the song. It's so different. <laughs> wow. I actually like this arrangement quite it's a bit. Me too. Yeah. Not that I don't like. Usually I very, still love Chris. I would say it's like it's very melancholy but his is kind of like it's got a jam flavor mm -hmm. to it at some point yeah yep. and the style his style is so unique i love the arrangement of the yeah. song yeah. i wonder if he did the arrangement for sure they do the arrangement huh um i think they have a big part of it yeah i right. think they have a big part of it yeah oh my god i love this dude wow no wonder he, he was is so unique in every single way i want to watch him i want to watch him i want to follow him because i just like it okay his, his style okay like the look and everything you like that vest cool, huh cool. yeah sexy no underneath clothes. boom that's what yeah. i'm doing my next Change video up. vest no Change shirt <laughs> no i don't think so baby you have to like <laughs> black vest black makes you work, slim work. <laughs> no he's showing the belly so how are you gonna show your belly huh <laughs> so something called filters <laughs> oh no you can't filter your size all right we're done <laughs>